a dark year for humanity. Uh, evil virus outbreaks into the world, turning almost all the population into walking undead zombies. How would you approach this situation and what are your thoughts? Sounds pretty much like the movie we just watched. And, uh, you know, uh, rule number one, do what you need to do to survive. So whatever that means, you know, try to uh, find somewhere safe uh, that can separate you from the danger. You know, maybe try to go somewhere where there's food and water you know, so that you can survive and hope that there's help coming from somewhere, you know, the government or whatever, maybe some kind of state militia. But I'm sure that I'm not the only survivor. There are others. You know, Okay, hypothetical scenario number one. Say you're not the only survivor and you meet a group that are trying to escape and survive against the zombie onslaught. You find a little child that's recently been bitten by one zombie before you kill off the zombie or he runs away and the child is there. Do you pick up the child and bring her to safety, what do you do? Well, assuming that once, uh, once you've been exposed to the virus, you're going to contract it. There's nothing that's going to stop you from becoming a full-blown infected person or whatever. you got to do what you have to do. You, know, you can't keep it or have it around you. Number one, you might get infected. You know, they're already gone. You forget about it. They, you can't save them. But you can get infected yourself, so you got to just do what's necessary. What would be the best location to stave off a zombie assault? Zombie assault? Well... You want to make sure that you uh, have protection, number one, you need protection, firearms, whatever. So you want to pick somewhere that's going to um, have something available for you to use that, so that you can protect yourself. That may not be your final destination, but you want to make that a point, you know, of, of uh, you know, at least along the way stopping off to get supplies that you need, you know, batteries, flashlights, water, firearms, whatever. And then ultimately you want to try to go somewhere that that has some type of uh, sustenance, food, whatever. And you can uh, have some supplies to keep you alive. Basically, you're going to need necessities. What are the things that you need in order to survive? You need food, shelter, weapons maybe, ammo, fire, you know, shelter. Those are, the, those are the type of things that you're going to need. Shoes. Shoes are important. Got to have footwear. Okay. Last question. What do you think would make the best zombie killing weapon? Uh, it just depends on your temperament. You like uh, up close action, you can always use a machete. Uh, that might be a little bit too close for comfort. You know, your regular household 12 gauge shotgun, short barrel, works. Don't have to be that accurate. <laughs> you know, that should do the trick. And uh, 
you know, handguns maybe, I don't know, it depends on how well you are versed at shooting random firearms. But for sure you gotta have a shotgun. Oh, one last question. How much longer do we have left until the zombie apocalypse hits? Twenty twenty five. Take the plunge. That's right. You got you wanna eat? Hey mom. Mm. What do you think about the zombies? Hmm? What do you think about zombies? What zombies? No, the zombie invasion. Zombies? No, zombies. <laughs> what zombies? No. The z z zombies. What zombies? No. Mom, what do you think about the zombies that, you know, the undead things that the people, they're dead, but they come after you? I don't know. Like, the, the you know, the undead, they, they look really messed up, like they died, but they're alive, and they bite people. That's the movie you're watching. No, Mom. No, I'm saying, what if it was real, and there were zombies? What, what do you, what would you do? Are you hiding about inside the cabinet? Huh? You hide? You hide? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else you do? Well, if I don't want to come out. I want to come out when, when, when there's nobody around. But if I come out and instead of hiding and waiting for me, I, I want to use my power. My power, my fire, fire power. Okay. What what happens if the zombies t uh, attack your dogs? I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. It's my Jimmy. Jimmy. 